it's hard to call a camera unique and really mean it. With a camera like the Contax G1, however, it does sport a truly unique feature set and design that separate it from all other 35mm rangefinders, as well as all other 35mm cameras in general. Developed in 1994, the G1 was positioned as a competitor to the Leica M6, but it was competing on pretty unfair and very different terms. You see, the G1 is an autofocusing rangefinder, a claim that is only matched by one other camera in its history, its successor, the G2. The Contax G1 is a fully electronic and for all intents and purposes automatic 35mm film camera. It has the capability to be used with manual setting for both focus and exposure, but both of these mechanisms are based on electronics rather than mechanical components. The G1 is technically a rangefinder, but the operation of its focusing system is quite unique compared to all other rangefinder cameras, which are 100% manual focus. The lenses. The 90mm lens is also very popular. It's the only long lens ever made for the G series. The 90mm lens is super sharp and has a very little pincushion distortion. It's at least as sharp as the Leica 90mm f2.8 Elmerit M and the 9mm f2.5 Summerit M. The 45mm f2 is a super sharp even at f2. The 45mm has a tiny bit of barrel distortion, most people never notice it and it has a neutral bokeh at f2. The 28mm Biogon is a great lens, it's sharp edge to edge, even wide open and has no distortion. All lenses should be this good. It has moderate light fall off wide open which improves a stop or two down. I use this for artistic effect. It has only so so bokeh at f2.8, but so what? Nothing is ever far out of focus within a 28mm f2.8 lens anyway. The corners are still sharp, wide open, but they do lose the slightest contrast compared to f4. This lens is a good as the Leica 28mm f2.8 ASPH. The first things you'll think when unpacking a newly purchased lens and looking at the aperture ring is that it's screwed up. Not mounted on the camera, you only seem to be able to set up about f8 and smaller. This is normal. When you mount the lens on a camera, it works perfectly. But since half the lens mount rotates as part of the bayonet mount, the part of the lens with the aperture index is rotated when the lens isn't on the camera. The tiny TLA140 flash come out with the G1. It's a tiny thing that stands tall on the camera and provides TTL auto exposure. The flash head is even further away from the lens than the TLA200. The TLA140 weighs only 99 gram, complete with battery. Power is rated at only GN40 meters or 45 feet at ISO 100. It runs on one common CR123 battery. <laughs> 